Good morning. Good morning. It's bun day. It is. <laughs> it's fun to wear a bun while you're reading John. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're reading John chapter four. Chapter four. Let's have an update on the 21 day challenge. I am accumulating mine. Yes. But that's so good. See yesterday's video if you need to know why. So you don't have to put a number on my face today. No. Because I'm going to do three or four all in a row. This okay. It's going to be a very burped up day for me. Ew. And if you don't know what we're talking about, maybe you need to pop back to another video. We have challenges going yes, on. Yes, we do. For 21 days. 21 days in John. I was very tired yesterday, but I did come home and do my Pilates. I did an extreme intense core workout wow. which was very intense and, and my bottom is still really in sore. the title yeah and I was like yeah give my bottom half a rest I'm gonna do a core workout it was very intense and the lady who's doing it I know for a fact because I have a ballerina friend it's one of her ballerina friends and she's oh, just yes. this lean willow going oh yes I'll bend myself that way and go like this and so you're um, copying her. You're playing Simon Says and you're doing a great job, Samantha. <laughs> well, I'm trying and modifying. Um, so one of the ones yesterday is you do a side plank, okay? Okay. okay. So you're supporting on your wrist. Yeah, that's strong. And then you've got your legs out to the side. Mm -hmm. Obviously, your feet are on the floor. But then you're bringing your arm up over your head. But then, if that's not enough... You're twisting that through and doing a needle through your uh, supporting arm. Cross-stitching uh, your own body. Okay. So I'll link that in the notes um, <laughs> if you'd like to have a go. Why wouldn't you? Of course you would. But That's called threading the needle, Sam. It is. And we don't advocate hurting yourself. No. See a doctor before starting oh. this. <laughs> See your I medical would advocate professional. Don't see a doctor. Full stop. <laughs> just see uh, a naturopath. Use your discernment. Pray about it before you do right. any hard exercise. Just know exercises. your own body. Don't push your body where you ought not. Yeah, good. And do push your body where you ought. When you where you ought, like in the book of John. Yeah, let's read it. Okay, chapter four. Have you got your KJV? Because that's what we're reading. It's the only Bible we read. We're not Hebrew. We're not trying to understand the Hebrew language. Not Greek. Not trying to work that out. And we certainly no, don't want to amplify the Bible sense. No, we don't. We just want to read it what as God it is, says. as God intended. Chapter 4. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. So Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciples. He left Judea and departed again into Galilee. And he must needs go through Samaria. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar. Sychar? Sychar. It's always good to try three pronunciations. <laughs> One Near of them will be right. <laughs> to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest, askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. A woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. For whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I give, that I shall give him, shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water, that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Jesus saith unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that saidst thou truly. 
The woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, <coughs> believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. The hour cometh, and now is, when the true fellowshippers shall worship the Father. Hang on, does yours say fellowshippers? Worship. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, I was just checking, maybe I, I had a really, typo. I'm <laughs> really grateful for that pickup. Let's try it again. <laughs> the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah come, cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. And upon this came his disciples, and marveled that he talked with this the woman. Yet no man said, What seekest thou, or why talkest thou with her? The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and saith to the men, Come, see a man which told me all things that I ever did, ever I did. Is not this the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. In the mean, while his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Therefore said the disciples one to another, have any man bought him aught to eat? Jesus saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white, or ready to harvest. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto eternal life. Uh, unto life eternal, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. And herein is that saying true. One soweth and another reapeth. I sent you to reap that whereon ye bestowed no labour. Other men laboured, and ye are entered into their labours. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the saying of the woman which testified, He told me all that ever I did. So when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them. And he abode there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. And said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Saviour of the world. Now after two days he departed thence and went into Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet have no honour in his own country. Then when he was come into Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things that he did at Jerusalem at the feast. For they also went unto the feast. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. Noble man saith unto him, Sir, come down, ear, my child die. Jesus. I shouldn't laugh, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not going to die. Spoiler alert. Jesus saith unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. Spot. 51. <laughs> Thanks. And he was, sorry, and as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. Then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend, and they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at that same hour in that, in the which Jesus said unto him, Thy son liveth, and him and himself believed, and his whole house. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. Wow. <laughs> this is like five chapters in one. I know. It's it very rich. I feel like if this was a TV series and you wanted to keep people hanging, yes. you wouldn't put both of those very cool miracles in one episode. No. You'd just get to the end of the other one and we wouldn't know what happened to all the husbands that came and you'd have to, to Jesus at the well. You're sitting on the edge of your seat waiting. 
But you don't have to do that because you have your own Bible, right? And you can read ahead if you want. Reading. Sam. So what is it? Samaritan. Yes. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. What is it about these Samaritans? Do you know about them? They are not a pure Jew. No. So they only believed in the first five books of the Old Testament, the Pentateuch, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Right. That's all they used. So they were waiting on a Messiah. They knew about Jesus, but they didn't know anything else. They didn't have any prophecy. Right. But they, they were just also excluded cast themselves. Out. Well, that's why, because, yeah. because the, the pure Jews thought they were better because they read more books. Is it too, though, that the Samarit Samaritans like w married into other bloodlines? Yes. And so um, perhaps in that way they weren't obedient to what God had asked. Yeah. Um, but it, it does illustrate that the pure Jews who had cast out the Samaritans and wouldn't even speak to them, mm -hmm. and in fact if they touched something that a Samaritan had touched, they were then unclean and had to go through those purification. Was that a God rites. law or was that a made up man well, law? That was that was what the pure Well, they deemed that the Samaritans were unclean. I'm okay. not sure if it was in any of those um that's something, laws. That's something for us to pursue. Maybe we can ask some, someone. Yeah, someone <laughs> but that loves the Lord and exalts his word. <laughs> but it's an illustration of you know the, the pure Jews yep. might have seen that seen the Samaritans as unclean, right. but Jesus doesn't. He certainly He's doesn't. He's still the Messiah to those people. Yes, of course he is. So, tell us what else is in your notes. <laughs> or shall I? Um, yeah, go. Okay. I love it in, I mean, I love the whole thing, right? But I need to say I love it sometimes to get my attention somewhere. Verse 23, when Jesus says to the woman at the well, For the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers, not fellowshippers or whatever yeah. I said, shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. So mm. I just mm. wanted to hang on that verse for a while last night when I was writing mm. it down. It's the Trinity in one. So you've got... Oh. Oh. The Father, God the Father, God the Spirit, and in truth, Jesus is called truth. I am the way, the truth, oh. and the life. Yeah. So when you look at that, you realize this is actually a reminder to anyone who is actually seeking and hungering for truth that it's telling you here about the Trinity. Right there. And, she, and he says to her, and now is. So for the hour cometh. And now is, because I'm here, he's saying, yeah, I'm God. And she believed it. Yeah. She went back and told everyone, this is the Christ. Yeah. You know what else? She was actually looking for the Messiah. The woman saith unto him in verse 25, I know that Messiah cometh. Yeah. I can't say it. Cometh. Yep. Messiah is cometh. That's a hard phrase. <laughs> she was looking for the Messiah because yep. they were asked to look. What are we asked to do for now? To so look. To look for our Messiah, yeah. who's the same Messiah, but he's not coming to earth for us. He's coming in the clouds. We're going up. We're going to meet him in the air and be with him forever. So that is what in Thessalonians we're told to do. Yep. And she knew from what she'd read in the Bible before, even if it was just a little bit of the Bible, that the Messiah was coming and she needed to look for him. Imagine how many people would have missed out if Jesus hadn't spoken directly to that woman though because oh, yeah. by excluding all those other books of the Bible mm -hmm. yeah what a dangerous pickle they get themselves into because they yeah. knew about the Messiah but they knew nothing about any signs that would be there when he came um, you know they had they didn't they didn't listen to Esaias or any of those other prophets. So they've just decided we're just taking these five books. That's what we're doing. And how many religions do that today and mm. exclude themselves from this hope that we have? Yeah, that's because people cast doubt on the true words of God. They, they only want the parts that they want. 
I think man just wants to have control as well. Like, you know, I don't, like, they just want to make rules for themselves that don't even, like, what reason would there be to say, well, we're just going to obey these five books, that's it. Well, last night, Luke and I looked into something that someone pointed out to us. Mm. Someone that's gone off track. I won't go into too Mm. much detail. But we looked at this particular teacher, 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 which we're warned about in Paul. Paul's epistles warned us to be aware of those that want to be called rabbi, rabbi. Yeah. And go on with endless genealogies and bringing people back under the law. And the whole idea, that's a satanic spirit that wants to do that, a perverted spirit. And bringing it back, we have to keep bringing it back to here. Don't get swept up and hypnotized by people on YouTube. Yeah. That might... People on YouTube are dumb. Yeah. (laughs) The Word of God is not. Correct. It speaks truth. And, you know... Anyone you're listening to should be pointing you back to this book. And, and if they're not, you ask yourself it. why. Yeah, you have to question. If you don't question things, you just think, I like those people. Yeah, they sound be- pretty legitimate. They sound really smart. They've got a degree in something. They talk about the word of God. They know yeah. scripture. They know more than me. Yeah, well, you know what? God knows more than everyone. And he says that men are liars mm-hmm. and corrupt the words of God. And so we need to be really sure that our heart is in the right place when we're wanting to study the scripture mm-hmm. and we're not trying to make the scripture sing for us what Ooh. we want it to hear, yeah. say sing yeah. yeah you know we have to lay aside our wants and needs mm-hmm. and go what does god want and need yeah and so we've said this before this is not this book is not written to the body of christ the body of christ isn't even spoken about yet but we can glean so much from these stories of jesus in his earthly ministry when he was specifically Ministering to the Jews, yeah, and even those half Jews, yeah, the Samaritans, yeah, and we need to realize that that is the same Jesus that we worship, except he's now glorified. He's not, he's not saying just to the Jews. Yeah, I was confused last night when I was reading it. I said to Darren, "Hang on, so we know this book is for the Jews. Mm-hmm. We know Jesus." was sent for the Jews, so why is he dilly-dallying with Samaritans? So I had to do some research to realise that they were half half Jews. Yeah. So he's not just there for the... Yeah, it's not just about the blood, is it? It's not about the pure blood Jews. It's about the heart intention. Clearly, God, who is Jesus, Jesus knew when he was speaking to the Samaritan woman that she didn't have a husband. Don't you love that baited question? Oh, go and get your husband. Bring him here. We're actually allowed to do that if our intention's right, Sam. Jesus is hilarious, though. He's so, he's so good. He's so good. And he knows that she's already had five husbands and that the man that she's with right now is not even her husband. But isn't that a gentle way yeah. of rebuking someone? Yeah. Just to ask them a question. Yeah. Questions are good. Or even if someone asks you a direct question, just <laughs> to not answer. <laughs> try it i'm gonna be like they're like have, has anyone given jesus any food um no. hang on what, where is he's that he's got meat to eat that the father it's the father's will yeah That's they're like hey he jesus do you want some meat and he's like mm, yeah there's meat that you've never heard of he's such a f- what a fun guy i would <laughs> love to hang out with him i have meat to eat that ye know not of okay do you want a sandwich or not <laughs> Saying, they're like saying to each other, who bought him who bought him some yeah. meat? Who was it? We went all the way into the city. We come back and he's already eaten. Yeah. What's he talking it's hilarious. about? hilarious. But he makes he makes spiritual and what's in that the natural environment all come together because that's how he speaks. Because you couldn't just go about your daily life completing tasks if you were Jesus. Like could you? Everything has to be with your father, with his father's will in mind. Yeah. Imagine if we lived like that. Well, we have to. We should. Well, we can do better at it. All yeah, of us. That's All of right. us can do better at that. That's right. And when you do, then your conversation does flow where people go, say what? Yeah. That's, yes. Yeah. Like we had some beautiful people picking up a puppy yesterday, last night, and we came back from church. So we were all 
talking about the Word of God, being amongst people that love the Word of God and some people that are interested in the Word of God that aren't there yet. And you go, come to a puppy time. <laughs> and so then we ask them, you know, they've already decided on the puppy, they've paid for the puppy, and now we're like, okay, so we need to ask you. This is, we know you came for a puppy, but this is the actual reason you came. You need to understand that Jesus loves them. That's, That's a, mango. a giant mango. <laughs> Jesus loves you. We're all sinners. We need a savior. Have you put your trust in the completed work of Jesus on the cross? Great. That he died and on the third day he rose again. Have you done that? That's It's as simple as that. Have you put your faith in Jesus? And we ask them to get themselves a KJV, read the book of Romans. We said, do yourself a favor. You're going to die one day. <laughs> These are puppy people. <laughs> but you know what? When we live... With our perspective on eternal things, we will take the moments that we can. And, right. and we said to these people, we know we just met you, but we love you. God loves you. So have a go. Have a crack and let's go to heaven together. I had a dream about that last night. Did you? That's weird, isn't it? Well, you said to me before you didn't know if you had a dream. No, now I said you... I had a weird dream. Oh, did you? Yeah, I had weirder, even weirder than that, but... We don't need to go into that. This is not people a... talking about dreams is weird and boring, actually. So I'm trying not to. Sometimes you just make them up anyway because you're half asleep. <laughs> but I am not making this up. John chapter 4 gave us a lot of things to think about. Yeah. And um, I wonder what these people out here are going to do with an eternal perspective today. Ooh. I wonder what we're going to do. Who knows what can happen. The you're possibilities to, are endless. You're off to community. I'm yeah. off to, in another direction to community. Say a prayer for us both because yes. we're going out there. What was that song I was listening to in the night? A soldier, fellow soldier going to war with God's soldiers. Oh, you know what it was? What? Onward Christian Soldiers. Do you know that song? Yes. It's so old. And Darren listens to this podcast and the guy just plays these old hymns out of... It's great. I don't know where he's getting them from, the vaults of Christianity. Oh, so, yeah. Onward, Christians, or like this thrilling oh, wow. lady singing like this. Oh, wow. And I went to sleep with that. Feeling like, I have to go out and be a Christian soldier. Let's do it. Let's put our armor on. <laughs> and we will see you tomorrow for chapter five of the book of John. Bless you all. Keep going with your challenges if you've chosen them. Let us know what they are. That'd be great. I want to know. Bye. Bye.